Hey everybody, Fishman here, welcome to another video. This is going to be another plant growth experiment, and I'm going to compare three different kinds of substrates. It's come about mostly because of this aquarium here. It was part of the original underground filter comparison I did. I set up a bunch of them with uh, different substrates, and I wanted to see how, uh, well, how they filtered, and also how they grew plants. And this particular one here grew that plant, which I'm going to call Red Luigia, uh, a lot better than all the others. I mean, the rest of the plants did really well in all the setups, but that one plant actually made me think that there may be something to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up uh, three aquariums. Uh, I'm going to set up as much as I can identically. They're all going to be run by underground filters. One's just going to be uh, straight gravel. Uh, one's going to be that commercially available uh, plant growth substrate, which you're going to find as uh, shortly as I move the bag across is made by Fluval. And one is going to be gravel, and I augment it with uh, soil. Now, the plant growth substrate works fine. I do have a bit of issue with the flow through and an underground filter, but it does a good job. My problem with it is it's expensive. I mean, uh, gravel for me is free, uh, mostly because I get it from clients as I do changeovers. So I have buckets and bags of the stuff sitting around, but even if you have to pay for it, uh, if you look around, it's actually, uh, there are sources of it that are quite cheap. And the other one I'm going to be doing, which is soil, I mean, in the spring I'll pick up a really big bag for $2, and it'll last usually more than one year. So, I mean, it would have to do really, really well in this experiment for me to warrant uh, putting the money out for it. And we're going to see mostly how it compares to a soil because that's obviously uh, the best comparison as far as growth goes. Lots of plants will do well with the gravel. I mean, the fish will provide a lot of filter, uh, <laughs> fertilizer, um, but we'll have to see how this as this progresses. So this is the gravel one. You'll also notice that I'm doing something slightly different for these particular underground filters. Actually, I've been doing a lot of different things for underground filters lately, and every time I build one, I seem to try something different, and I'm actually going to I have to put up a video, I think, at some point in time to show you how this all evolved. This particular version here is mostly the lift stack. You'll see it's nice and stubby, and the reason for that is I want to be able to take this out of the aquarium, move it from aquarium to aquarium without having to tilt it, spill it, and or dump any of the media out. So it will connect to a friction fit acrylic fitting that will go further up, uh, but the initial one will be nice and short like that, so I can do that. So what I need to do for the soil is I need to make a containment system for it. I don't want it to go in the filter itself because uh, soil does not... Uh, flow through well and I want to make sure that any issues that come up from this have nothing to do with filtration in the aquarium. So the underground filter will uh, run as normal and I'm going to build a box out of this egg crate and acrylic that's going to sit on top of that and then it will allow, uh, because the flow is going to go down through this, it'll be slow but it'll, it'll go, it will end up leaching out uh, whatever nutrients are in it and that will supply it to the general water column. So the reason why I am doing it this particular way is acrylic, oh sorry, um, egg crate here is a polycarbonate. It's a very low grade version. Uh, so I have to be very careful on when I want to build a box out if I want it to hold together. So I'm sanding it down. I get to see the belt sander it's still working really nicely. I have to be very careful not to take too much off because it's, like I said, a very uh, poor quality polycarbonate. And that actually comes to another issue when it comes to welding this together with acrylic. It is very difficult to get a good fit. Uh, it has, it's not flat, so it has a bit of an undulation there. And wherever you see the cross pieces, even though I cut the cross piece off and try to sand it down, it is enough of a gap. And if I were using uh, one of the weldons, the higher, the gooier ones, it probably wouldn't be much of an issue. But because I'm using methylene chloride, uh, sorry, interlude. Uh, because I'm using uh, methylene chloride, it's very difficult to get enough of it underneath the gap to soften up the polycarbonate, the egg crate, and the acrylic at the same time. So you'll see me fiddling around here a little bit, trying to get a good spot and trying to get it set up. And it is, like I said, it, it takes a little bit of effort. 
and that was the reason why I went with uh, the saw and the, and the belt sander, trying to get it as even as possible before I did this. It, it just flows right through. It's very difficult to get it to stay long enough to actually do anything. And because this is going to sit on top, it's going to sit on, uh, well, the right or left of the under gravel filter, so the flow through the filter will be unheated on one side, and it will go down through this on the other side. Uh, I didn't have to have this as a specific size, so that's why I get to do it this way, which unfortunately, well, makes this uh, as easy to build as possible. So once this is set up, uh, it is going to be, uh, well, my left hand will be where the bottom is, and I am going to use this nylon screen I've been using, uh, and I'm going to put soil on this, I'm going to get it all wet, and the top one, which is on the right there now, is just going to be a friction fit, and I'm going to put screen on top of that, and then I'm going to squeeze that down on top of it, and it'll hold all the soil in place. Now the other thing I'm going to do here is I don't want this just to be the only source of soil. So I'm going to make little boxes, and I'm going to plant some of the plants in those boxes, uh, like the Red Luigia and whatever other plants you guys decide to uh, let me know about. I was a little busy this week, so I'm not going to be able to get this all the way done today, so you guys will have an extra uh, few days to put in your suggestions. And then I am going to also to keep things as even as possible. There will be boxes of soil, uh, sorry, boxes of gravel and boxes of the fluval plant substrate as well in those tanks. And again, I'll plant stuff in that. Uh, in those particular cases, so the gravel I obviously don't have to do anything, but the plant growth substrate I'll probably have to put a little bit of gravel on top of that. I'm going to try and keep this as even as possible. And if you guys have any suggestions on that, um, definitely do those as well. So this is going to be, as you can see, I left the one side a little oversized, uh, again because of the materials I'm working with. That's easy just to take off with a saw. So that's pretty much done now, and it's a matter of loading this up with the soil. It's interesting trying to do that. Uh, it, it was easy enough, it just took a little while. It's uh, one of those things that I kind of actually expected to flow a little bit faster through this, but I'm actually really glad it doesn't. And uh, as this progresses, I'll try and explain uh, the reasons why, but uh, it just involves in, I don't want too much tannins in the water, and I don't want too much nutrient to be released uh, prematurely, so it is actually kind of cool that it's working this way. So there you go, uh, the one screen on the bottom, one screen on top of the soil, and then the final egg crate to keep everything in place. So when I actually do these, these little boxes for the growing of the plants, I'll probably have to set them up again outside the aquarium. There are going to be fish in there, and I don't want to end up making a, a huge mess and causing issues with the fish or any of the bio, other biochemistry that's going on in here. I'm going to probably get most of this set up in the next week or two, and then we're going to obviously just let it run. And all the aquariums are going to get the exact same feedings. I'm going to try and set them up with the same uh, bio loads, uh, and also they're all going to get the same amount of water changes and all that sort of stuff. So... Hopefully it'll keep things as consistent as possible and uh, end up with something really interesting. I mean, the Vallison area uh, was actually kind of a cool experiment as well. And how it all turned out in the end was kind of interesting. But I think this is going to go the little extra bit of distance that the other one didn't. Because, of, first off, the extra plants. And also because I'm going to go to a little bit more of a pain here to make sure the setups are more similar. So there you go, that's pretty much set up now. I'm going to let that drain through uh, more than once. <laughs> this is going to be a bit of a time lapse here, but uh, I'm not going to show it all to you either because it's you know, it takes a little while. I want to rinse a little bit of it out. I want to make sure it doesn't dirty the tank up too much. And that needs to be rinsed, and then I'm going to sit it in the aquarium. So that's pretty much how this is all going to go. This is as far as I got today. Uh, I haven't built the high humidity planters yet. I am not going to put anything but gravel in the top of those. Uh, I don't think it worked well. If you guys have uh, a strong opinion about that, definitely let me know about that as well. So that is going to be for next week, next Wednesday most likely. Uh, I'm going to try and continue with the um, pump build on Friday. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Again, it's been a very busy week. So this is the plant growth substrate. 
None of these plants matter. <laughs> They're not the ones that are going to be in here. They're just the ones that I had, uh, like the ones that were either in the tank or the ones that were nearby just to put stuff in. And this is how the soil one's going to be set up. Uh, this just got done, so that's why the water's a little cloudy. Uh, this one's uh, this one I'm going to find interesting. Uh, this is the one I wanted to see how that one does. And as I said, definitely leave comments. And as always, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, if you like this kind of style of video, like and or subscribe as you feel fit. This is not the final setup for this. It needs a longer pipe and a bunch of other stuff. But anyway, we'll get to all that as we go along. And again, these are not the plants that are going to be going in here. So thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. And bye for now.